was held on Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024 at 11.15 a.m. to discuss personnel matters regarding specific individuals. Public comment? Commissioner, I just want to inform the board that this morning at 9 a.m. there was a bid opening for an 88 CDBG project in Fort Carbon. Uh, that will be awarded at a later date. Morning, Laura. Morning, Laura. My name is Laura Krasnowski. I'm with the People's Democratic City of Baltimore. Um, I am um, hoping and praying that everyone is watching the judicial hearings and things going on before the Senate and in the courtrooms. For a long time, I have basically uh, argued that our court system is quite duplicitous. For example, you can get into court and be told that um, you're supposed to raise your hand and say that you're going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But the court will basically say, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to have that in here because we're limiting the scope of what is going to be said. In my mind, that's a violation of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution, which basically says everyone is entitled to equal protection under the law. We're not being given equal protection if, we, if the constitutional rights are being limited. The other thing that I'm hoping and praying is going on that people are not allowing themselves to be emotionally attached to what is going on and rather um, independently just taking it all in and deciding for themselves without emotion what is the right thing, what is the wrong thing. The fact of the matter is, in my lifetime, I've been watching this country become more and more Marxist. Um, and it's alarming to me because we don't seem to have the capacity anymore to hear each other in a civil way. We don't seem to have the capacity to, to um, understand that the country appears to be somewhat schizophrenic. On one hand, we say we're a free country, and then on the other hand, we say that we are um, a, a welfare state. These two things are in opposition to each other. And yet, we don't even call ourselves a constitutional republic. We're being told time and time again that we are a democracy. These things are different. And yet, our education system, every single system, in my opinion, is broken. So I'm praying that people are just watching what is going on and not becoming um, sort of emotionally attached to this or that, but to weigh the balance of all things in a civil way. And this gentleman sitting over here, I filed the right to my request some time ago, and was basically told that there's no law that allows the original freedom of speech. So it becomes questionable why the government doesn't want to hear people fully exercise the freedom of speech so that you can hear what we need to say. And he will soon tell me to shut up and sit down. <laughs> so, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Any other public comment? Morning, George. Morning. George Nicole, Pali Alto. Uh, once again, I'm here for the senior citizens and the veterans of our county and our state that are uh, looking for our extra help. I thank uh, the senior center down here on Center Street for keeping their building open. I'm going to do a little commercial that they keep their uh, building open until 6 o'clock. So any senior citizen or veteran that doesn't have air conditioning, they can go down there on, on Center Street to the senior center. And it's right across from the uh, Salvation Army. Uh, I uh, think that more. Uh, Things like this should happen. Uh, there's people out there that don't or can't afford air conditioning, can't even get a fan. And if they do get it, they don't work right or they can't afford the, the electricity. So they're stuck. And I, I think it's time that uh, people realize that everybody doesn't make uh, $100,000, you know. And in this world, you almost have to have that today. Uh, it's just ridiculous 
the food vouchers too is a good program. I hope uh, senior citizens that haven't come down to the center, you only have one more day at the center to get them, and that's tomorrow from uh, nine o'clock in the morning to one o'clock. They're from the farm, farmers or uh, through the state are getting, uh, giving $50 worth of vouchers. So that's for uh, fruits and vegetables that are grown in our county. And I hope every senior citizen and veteran can take advantage of this. We want these to get, don't let them run out. Because what they do is go back to the state and they're not used. So please, please get there and uh, get this used. Now, I'll just go one step more further on Laura, what she was saying. We see that if you're a politician, you can get away with murder. You can actually can get away with murder. This is ridiculous. If I do a crime, or anybody here does a crime, you're gonna face the penalty and be in jail. And I guarantee you it won't be months or years later. It'll be right when this happens. Because you don't have the money to keep our dead lawyers to pay for you. Now this is ridiculous. I hope the United States government should get straight now. I still think it's the best country in the world to live in. I'll never say it isn't. But there's a lot of fraud and, and things going on in politics, <coughs> especially because they want to fight amongst themselves instead of helping people. That's the problem. Let's help the people, the people that put you in the office. And I, I know that if we do this, this is going to be a better country than it is right now. Thank you. Any other public comment? insights 
and recommendations regarding possible improvements to the current systems. After all, the county taxpayers are already paying for their knowledge and expertise. That's your three minutes. Have you done your due diligence as county commissioners? That's what I'm asking. You owe that to the taxpayers. Thank you. Any other public comment? So I want to address some things here. The Hatter, the Hatter investigation is ended, and Mr. Hatter has resigned. And as for the MIS thing, it is going to be tabled because it has grown into a much larger thing with complaints that have came up from people from MIS that we have a strong issue with continuity of services. So we need somebody to come in to actually now look at this. And I believe Nick, I was going to abstain from the vote, I do believe Nick would have gave us an unbiased, cheaper opinion than anybody else for $33,000 that would tell us the truth about it. But we need somebody to come in to look at these systems now. Tell us how complicated they actually are. And that we have to have a training component to move to them now. Because we need continuity of services. Well, Linda, when you were a controller, did you have continuity of service in your office? If you took off, your first deputy could run your office, right? You betcha. Okay. Right now, we do not have this in the county. Is there a current director in charge? And I'm not, this, this isn't a debate. You've had your public comment. Yeah, I have, they're, they're, they're trying to fill that position. But that's all oh, I'm saying okay. now. So we don't have a director. If okay. We're trying to have a bill. They interviewed somebody just recently. I don't, I don't remember that when. I know there was an interview. But we are going to uh, consult with TCAP and consult with certain people for the MIS because now it's grown into a larger issue because other issues were brought up now since people, we have no continuity of service. And these people, have, it's their God-given rights. If people want to retire and they put the time in and they can retire. But we need people that are trained that can step in right away and do that function. Right now, that's currently not happening. And that's troublesome to me. And I need somebody that will give us an honest, non-biased answer on how we progress with that and have a training component to it. Or do we need to go to a third-party vendor? I, I can't get these answers. So I need somebody to tell us, to guide us, to get these answers. And our fellow commissioners, they agree with, they agree with this. I don't know. Well, Would you I'm Gary not, have anything to nice. say? I'm not an IT expert. I'm a nuts and bolts guy. Sorry. Same way. I, I, I need to, to lend advice to people, whether it's in MIS throughout the years that I've been here, or uh, someone else on the outside. That's tech, I, I've said that from day one. Uh, you know, so I always got to lend on the advice of uh, some other people uh, here, and that, that's the important thing. So again, uh, we need some, you know something to make sure that. Things continue uh, in operation, and you know, many years ago you didn't have what you need in technology. Right now, everything runs off technology, and uh, it could slow everything down the pace of, of everything here countywide. So it sounds like all three of you have already discussed this behind closed doors, we did and not, as members of the public, we, did we not, appreciate we did not, we did if did more not. of this discussion occurred at a public meeting. We did not discuss this, so there's no debate. Let's move on with the meeting, okay? Thank you. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the minutes from the commissioner's meeting on June 26th of 2024? So moved. Second. Any question? Commissioner Bjorn? Yes. Commissioner Hedrington? Yes. Commissioner Hedrington? Yes. Commissioner Hedrington? Can I have a motion to approve the minutes from the Commissioner's work session? Thank you. Second. On a question? Commissioner Ford? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Uh, can I have a motion to approve what was presented for the, by the grant writers, the four things they uh, brought up at the work session? Motion to approve the four proposals for the grant writer. Second. On a question? Commissioner Ford? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Can I have a motion to approve the nine uh, uh, proposals that were presented by Children Youth in the work session? So moved. Second. Any question? Commissioner Pedora? Yes. Commissioner Hedrington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Uh, can I have a motion to approve what was presented by engineering at our work session? So moved. Second. Any question? Commissioner Pedora? Yes. Commissioner Hedrington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. I have a motion to approve what was presented by the controller's office at our work session. Motion to approve travel for the controller's office. Second. Other question? Commissioner Pedora? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. I have a motion to approve the three items uh, that were presented at our work session by Office of Senior Services. 
So moved. Second. Any question? Commissioner Fedora? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Um, can I have a motion to approve what was presented by 901 at our work session? So moved. Second. No question? Commissioner Fedora? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Uh, can I have a motion to approve uh, the, the information that was pre presented by the county administrator at our work session? So moved. Second. Any question? Commissioner Fedora? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Can I have a motion to table uh, the MIS approval? I'll make that motion. Second. Any question? Commissioner Fedora? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Human Resources? To have a motion to approve that was presented in our work session by Human Resources. Motion to approve the revived health hold. Second. Any question? Commissioner Fedora? Yes. Commissioner Hetherington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Uh, new business. Commissioner, uh, good morning. Uh, this morning I have a couple items I'd like to present. Uh, first of all, in connection with uh, budget adjustments, there are five budget adjustments listed on the agenda for today, and the five have been posted outside the boardroom. I'd also like to present a supplemental budget appropriation resolution for the current year, number 2024-13, not 14, for a total dollar amount of $438,732 presenting onto this on behalf of the grant writer's office. Uh, commissioners, uh, the county has received some additional CDBG grant money from the Department of Community and Economic Development. Uh, the funds will be used for a uh, water tank replacement project for Tremont Township and for Porter Township. So we would like to adjust the appropriate revenue and expenditure line items for this project. And motion to approve what was presented by Paul Lewer. Motion to approve the uh, 2024-13 CDBG grant. Second. Any question? Commissioner Fedora? Yes. Commissioner Hedrington? Yes. Commissioner Hess? Yes. Uh, new business, Gary Bennett. Yes, I have a couple items on here, and we're asking these to be approved as a work session next week, not today. On behalf of the grant writers, approval of a revision to the 2022 CDBG program will be $6,014.80 from the West Penn demolition line item to the J.E. Morgan Park ADA line item. On behalf of Engineering Liquid Fuels, approval of a grant application submittal to the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development for the Multimodal Transportation Fund. The application will be for the replacement of County Bridge 6, Bullet Road, over Monoy Creek in Barry Township. The Multimodal Transportation Fund would provide up to 70% with the county's match portion being liquid fuels and the local use funds that the county would receive over the next few years. The entire project is estimated at $2.4 million, and the grant request would be for $1.6 million. And lastly, approval of a resolution to execute all documents and agreements with the Department of Community and Economic Development to facilitate and assist in obtaining the requested multimodal transportation grant. And the reason these are being done to be approved the work session that are on this is because they're time sensitive for what, the end of this month, Gary, right? He's That's time right. sensitive. I think Lisa's here. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the Sorry about that, Lisa. <laughs> That's we talked right. about it yesterday that she could come. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yes, the uh, grant is uh, deadline is July 31st. I'm actually trying to get it done a little bit ahead of time. Um, just, I'm hoping my, my niece is coming in from Bermuda, so I want to get it in early. So I apologize for trying to rush this, but I'd like it done for next week. Okay. Human resources. Uh, good morning, commissioners. Yes, in the prison, we have the appointment of Vanessa Chevier, correction officer part time. The rate is 23.0730, effective date is 7.15.24. That is per the contract. Uh, so we have two informational items in the sheriff's office the appointment of Keith Winnie as deputy sheriff, effective 7.29.24. That's per the contract. Then the clerk of courts is rescinding the appointment of Christina Chen uh, as a clerk three position at uh, its effective 7-15-24 for the contract. All appointments are pending <coughs> drug tests and physical where appropriate. All actions involving salary or for positions being created are pending salary for approval. Thank you. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved.